Man, this TikTok hate trend is exhausting. People are faking clips, taking them out of context, and making fake titles purely for clicks. I'm not a perfect person, but experiencing this is awful. They're straight up lying. I don't think people realize at what cost they're gaining. Hear me out. Maybe here's a here's a bit of a theory, right? Maybe you have one of the most overinflated egos in all of Valorant. Take that into consideration. Uh, how's it going, guys? People. Hey, crazy kid. Do you want to shoot him? Here. And before we get into this gentleman right here, who you guys may be very familiar with. Um, we got a sub goal, so uh, I'll be right back. How's it going, guys? Peep is just kind of chill here. As always, the most liked comment chooses what I get to eat today. Let's see what we got going here. Eat boiled eggs dipped in mayo chup. And this is interesting because I've never actually had mayo chup before. I mean, your wish is my command. I'm gonna gently place that down. I know you can buy like pre-packaged mayo chup, but I honestly don't feel like it. I'm assuming the ingredients are self-explanatory, right? Ugh. A good wallop of that. Wallop. Wallop. Now, you, you guys also forget that I'm Polish, right? Polish people eat hard-boiled eggs with horseradish, and it's really good. So I kind of have high hopes for this. I swear this hard-boiled egg has a mind of its own. Like, it just keeps, like, here. Look at this. Like, what? I didn't really consider how I'm gonna throw these eggshells away. I guess I'm just gonna have to make a pile here. Oh my god, I'm fumbling this so badly. Influencer Peep is awesome reportedly cannot peel hard-boiled egg. Asked to leave blunt rotation. This ain't the best looking hard-boiled egg, but it's definitely something. Alright, moment of truth. Pretend this is horseradish. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what the hell? This is not bad at all. We take that, honestly. 87,000 subscribers by the end of this week, and I'll eat the most liked comment. Comment literally whatever you want, and I'll attempt to eat it. <laughs> common tradition, common practice on this channel. Uh, yeah. Alright, see you guys. Uh. So at some point, Shazam was basically the, the face of Valorant, right? He had basically contacts with everyone, even Riot themselves. He played it on a bunch of huge esports teams that people would only dream of joining. But as of the last couple months, maybe this last year, he's just become a total irrelevant laughing stock. I think ever since he became this Valorant icon, his ego has become so overinflated to the point where he's just an unlikable dork. Like, as sick as your McLaren is, bro, like, nobody likes you, no offense. I, I know I talked about this in the past before, but Jesus Christ, the fall off is huge. This dude used to be Valorant, and now he <laughs> broke and barely hit 10,000 views. The only time he hits 10k is when someone else is in the thumbnail. This is why energy will win VCT this year. G2 Shazam. Build for a Masters Champs, buddy. It's so hard. Do you really? Jesus Christ, those dislikes. That's insane. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. Jesus Christ. I am putting money on it right now. The entire comment section is just he knows, she knows, some something within the lines of the. Oh, never mind. Everyone's just here because of Westja. Oh, there. <laughs> He definitely knows. Guys, guess what? He knows. He actually knows. He knows. He knows. He for sure knows. You wouldn't say that to me in real life. Five foot five, smaller frame than a kid. Jesus. That's actually very perfect timing because I do want to talk about a video that went pretty viral revolving around Valorant's biggest crybaby, Shazam. I'd like to purchase some of your finest videos. And it's all because of this guy right here, Hammy on Twitch. Now, personally, I never watched him. As a matter of fact, I've never heard of this guy until now, so. But this dude's popping off. This dude's getting numbers. This dude's bag chasing right now. He's a he's a Valorant streamer. And just like any other high-ranked Valorant streamer, he's going to run into a lot of pro players, including yours truly. I'd like to purchase some- and Quite frankly, this is probably the most Shazam interaction you will ever see. You know what? I'm not even gonna explain it. I'm just gonna let you guys watch it. They're running at you, bro. You're behind two smokes. Don't lie. Don't lie. I watched it was you behind two smokes. It was They're running at me. Script. They're running at me. No, don't lie. Hey, don't he knows. Oh, I'm asking for a response. Why are you pulling it out? <laughs> okay. I said yes. I'm sorry. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I think he's a comedian. Uh, you would not say that to me in real life. Dude, I'm joking. That's all I know. I'm glad I would. I'm joking, though. Dude, why did he get so mad? Angry. He made the same fucking joke, bro. Everyone um, knew exactly what they needed to do, you know? Not, no backseating needed from Ethan. They know. Yeah. They know. They know. Mm. That's actually me to you? <laughs> No way. That's funny, bro. He stops coming. Dude, this guy's like, wait, what the fuck is he actually? Oh my god. Yeah, 
Remember that time Westja accidentally slipped up and said the N-word? Yeah. He still jokes about that. You bring up a terrible point he made on Twitter, he just goes straight to muting you like a baby. Jesus Christ. This dude is so mentally immature, it's actually insane. Oh. Oh, but people are faking clips and taking them out of context and making fake titles purely for clicks. Oh, and it doesn't end there, by the way. L look what happens next. He, he stops coming. Dude, this guy's like, wait, what the yeah. fuck is he actually gonna That's why Shazam said he beat your- Wait, did he- wait, say on God. Say Wallah he said that. I'm curious, like, a race kinda got quiet. Yeah, bro, I don't wanna fucking yeah, try to win. No, I don't know, this judge just doesn't know how to be funny. Yeah, my bad, bro. That's a fucking loser. I tried. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> This guy's actually tweaking, hello? Yeah, what the? <laughs> like, what the Crash fuck? Like your trail. Why <laughs> <laughs> is he crashing out? Oh, no, I don't know why he's crying. Go on, ass man. Like, you can't be serious with this dude. This dude is actually like the rice gum of Valorant. Like, it's crazy. He has hella money. He has hella fame. But one piece of criticism around him, one joke that's roasting him, and it's an automatic sissy fit. He's gonna threaten you that he's gonna fight you. Like, damn, this Valorant shit is ride or die for you. God damn. And he's throwing the match now. Like, that's insane. Dog, take a joke. Jesus Christ. Crashing out. Oh, no, I don't know why he's crying. Go on, ass man, bro. Like, at first, I'm like, yo, why did he have such a bad rapper why does he have like a like a crybaby rap at first you know what i mean Match. and I, I think now it makes sense he can call me broke he can call me ass at valor he can call me anything he can't say it'd be my ass i'd beat the fuck out of him god damn that last part was cold god damn i was talking to my friend yesterday about shazam because he was like oh shazam he doesn't seem that bad i don't know why everyone's hating on him this is why. This is why everyone hates Shazam. Yeah, he was chill the first year or two after Valorant came out, but after all this publicity, after all this money, bro's just insanely unlikable. Bro's actually so mentally immature, it's insane. Honestly, I I'm gonna be honest with you. I hate when people talk like this. Like, this is just a pet peeve of mine. I'm not a perfect person, but experiencing this is awful. Can you just own up to the fact that you're an absolute narcissist that's completely self-centered with an inflated ego like just say that say you're going to move on don't say i'm not perfect and then just go on with your life like this will always piss me off this is like a borderline straw man what i said there makes absolutely no sense i don't even know why i said that i'm so drained i've pretty much stayed in my own lane but i've let them paint this picture of me and it feels like this large side of the valo community would be happy if i okay come on nobody said that and if anyone says that you need to off yourself or then th that's just a sign that they're chronically online nobody actually wants you to off yourself people are just saying that you're immature and you have the fight or flight mechanism comparable to some 13 year old white girl in the suburbs my trenches look a little different but i swear i grew up in the mud i don't even know if i'll make it out alive today and just out of curiosity why are you disabling comments i feel like people would love to share their opinion on this but you you kind of funneled it the second you make a statement like this the least you'd want to do is hear people's opinions or take on this right not just whoever follows you or mentioned can reply oh i I mean, there's a post by G2. Let's see what people think. Don't forget the DMCA strikes. Surprise, Shazam has like copyrighted this shit. DMCA, be careful. Oh my god, we know. Yeah, I'm honestly scared to even upload this video because Shazam's just gonna copyright strike me. He's gonna claim this video as his, even though I've shown no footage of him whatsoever. Oh, except this is running in the background. I guess Shazam can claim that. Here you go. I'm I'm offering this to you, Shazam. I'm just gonna leave this running right here so you can copyright strike that. So yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Shazam is officially on his downfall. I don't think he's ever gonna make it back into relevancy. Maybe his Twitch is still popping. I don't know. I don't check Twitch. I don't use Twitch. Maybe it's still popping. Who knows? But it's very obvious his uh, YouTube career ain't really popping. Anyways, that's all I had to say. See y'all.